In this video, we are going to put together our raised beds, put down the hardware cloth, the cardboard, and lay the soil in. All the materials came over about two weeks time, and so this video captures that time frame. We also started our seedlings in Jiffy Pots, so I'm gonna show you that too. Welcome to my channel. My name is Erica, and today we are going to start our backyard victory garden. Yes, we are. Some of our things came. So we're gonna build one of the raised Hi. beds, get the, um, Hardware mesh in place and we are waiting on dirt and seeds, but I have confirmation of shipment for those So they are on their way Let's do it right over here, babies Okay, right there is good, too All right, guys, go get the other one. <laughs> Here's the finished. That was ridiculously easy to put together. And they're 42 inch by 42 inch. I bought three. They were on sale for $23. So I bought three. And I went back to Baker's Creek and ordered more seeds. So, and Baker's Creek confirmed that that shipped. This video is a follow-up to another video about victory gardens and backyard gardens. I'll leave a link in the description box for that one. Wait, the other side. Hammer, hammer, hammer. Wait, it's stuck. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we're gonna reuse that cardboard too. You got it. Good. Okay. Now add another corner bracket. Corner bracket. Oh. Can you try it? Good. What happened? Well, I guess you're going to have to get in. Go ahead. What about me? You help too, Jack. My hair Yes. Yes. You be in the middle. Yes, help out. You hammer it in. That's your job. Yeah. Sit. You are standing in your garden. Yes, mommy's gonna help you keep it up. That's why you and bought nine. That's nine. why I bought three. Look I can't find the aviation snips. <laughs> They're probably in the shed, but so I'm kind of stuck for the day until I find those. Measure like 40, measure 42 inches out for me, and then we're gonna need to figure out how to hold it in place, okay? I'm gonna unroll this. Come down and help. Can you um, pull it out? Back up, come down and help. You have to hold this here. I got you, girl. Look. Mind you, good. Step in. Good, step out. And now we're going to try to fit it in. Our seeds came. Look at all these seeds we got. Oh. Mm -hmm. I will make that plant. All right, guys. Yeah. That's cucumber, baby. Cucumber, cucumber. Here's more cucumber. What are these? Those are peppers. Can you make a pepper pile? Cucumber. These are called Jiffy Pots, and that's what we're going to start our seeds in, okay? So, everybody... Look at me. You are like your great-grandmother right now. Do it again so I can take a picture. Look at me. Everybody choose two things to start in their plants. Um, I would choose this one and this one. Good. Now use your finger to push it I down. Back up. I on the dose. Yeah, Brennan, that's good. Do your other one. Why are you doing mine? Okay, good job writing. These are the dragon's egg cucumber seeds from Baker's Creek. Yeah, yeah. These are the California wonder peppers. Right? 
Sunflower seeds are small, but sunflower seeds. Friends of peppers in your garden that we have would be tomatoes. This is what we mapped out for Brandon in his garden. And then he's got his seeds that he started. And the beans. Beans are do well right in the ground. I decided to use an old photo album that we never use for their garden. And so we mapped out and measured which seeds they wanted to put in, what were friends and foes. So we were mindful of what we were putting together. Step it down, okay? <laughs> you like that? Mm -hmm. I can't believe we did this. Can you, you can't believe we did it? Right. Can you please go get some cardboard boxes from right over there? So just lay them down. Good. Four bags. Each bag is one and a half cubic feet. So it's supposed to be four bags per garden. And that puts it at a uh, six cubic feet per garden, which is what it, the instructions said for these raised beds. And what I did was put down hardware cloth, cut it to size, and then put cardboard on top. For you, Jack. fence is double the width that we need so I just folded it over and if I really can't keep the dog out I'm gonna have to get taller fence posts you got strong arms going well he can jump over that Hopefully I can train him to not go in here. Ah, Ranger, no! Oh, well that didn't work. All right, one of these. Okay, raised bed. This one will nourish a four by four. Be sure to use the entire bag. Okay, Jackie, take the bag. Okay, and now. I want you to spread it all over. Ranger, get out of here. Ugh. You're doing really good, buddy. This is food for the plants, okay? Food for the veggies. Good, Jackson, you're doing great. Lift up that bag and search your dirt. Search your soil. That's it, good. And watch what mommy does, okay? I want to do it. Okay? No, plants are nice and healthy with dirt. Spread it good, Becca. Spread it all around, hun. Yeah. Yep, there you go. Lift it up. See, their dirt's getting so it's going to get a little bit easier. Ranger! You got it, Brandon. You got it. Ranger, get out. You're doing good. Spread it around as much as you can. See how when I push it, it spreads it in? Yeah. And then when I kind of Go like that. See how it spread it out on that side? Yeah. I want you to do it that way, okay? Go for a day or two. Okay. 
Here we go. One, two, three. All right, here. Spread it all out. Yeah. Spread it flat. I still have three bags of dirt left, and it looks like we are going to need to add it when we do finally plant. Just checking our inner seedlings. We're keeping them in the front window with the curtains closed to try to trap some heat in here and help them grow. We water them each day uh, at the end of the day. Thanks for watching. Give me a like if you like this content. And if you haven't already, please subscribe for more videos about living with less and intentional living.